Today you're going to learn to infer when you read. Your success criteria, the things that we want you to be able to do, are I can explain what the word infer means, I can look for clues in pictures to infer meaning, I can use my schema, that's your prior knowledge, the things you already know about, to help me infer, and I can make inferences about what is said and done in texts. When do we infer things? We infer things all the time. When we read, we infer what the author is meaning. When we see someone, we can infer how they are feeling. Let's have a go at inferring about this page from a book. What can you infer? I can see that the dinosaurs are looking down at the lions. This might be so they stay safe. I can see that the lions look sleepy and relaxed. They might not have many things to play with. I can see that the dinosaurs look happy. They must be enjoying seeing the lions. On the next pages, you will see some faces showing different emotions. Write the number of the picture in your book and what emotion you think the person is feeling. Here's the first one. What can you infer from this picture? Here's the second one. What can you infer from this picture? How do you think the girl is feeling? What can you infer from this picture? How is this boy feeling? What can you infer from this picture? How do you think this girl is feeling? What can you infer from this picture? How do you think this girl is feeling now? And what can you infer from this picture? How do you think this boy is feeling right now? Now you can have a go to draw a face to infer an emotion yourself. Draw a face with an emotion in your book. Here's some outlines to help you with your drawing. You are going to infer from the front cover of your reading book for this week. In your workbook, write what you think the book might be about and why. Your page should look something like this one. You'll have the date, the IAL, the emotional faces, so what you thought each person was feeling on the pictures on the previous slides. And then at the bottom, I think my book will be about because, and you can finish that sentence. And you can pop your emotion drawing on your page as well. So girls and boys, your activity for reading today is to look at the front cover of your book for your group and try to infer what the story might be about just from the cover. Have a good look at the title and the pictures and see if you can write a sentence about what you think your book's going to be about and why you thought that.